Hey guys, welcome to YS Kong Driving. We are at a little studio somewhere in Bataling Jaya and we are going to get a taste of a Chinese luxury car. So guys, we are talking about the J. Cole brand and this is a sub-brand of Cherry. There are two models and this is the flagship which is top of the range. It is a 2-litre turbocharged all-wheel drive luxury SUV. And this one has 290 horsepower and 390 newton meters of torque. All wheel drive system, and this is a D sized segment SUV. So, looking at the front, you get a very large grill, a straight front face, and big dimensions. So, this looks like a very grand SUV. Of course, all lights are LED, and uh, this one is called a waterfall grill yeah it's a good description because it looks like water going straight down yeah so this is called a waterfall grill from the side profile you can see that this is actually a very very large size suv so the cherry people call it d segment yes it is it is taller than me it is very long you have two very large doors concealed door handles and uh, from the front these are 20 inch wheels so that will give you an idea of the size yeah 20 inch wheels and uh, ventilated front disc with mcpherson struts and at the back you have also these are solid disc and a multi-link suspension oh this is a left hand drive car but never mind the camera gets a very good an angle from there look at this long screen I think this is a standard 40 over inch screen and actually two screens in one very very luxurious interior fitting nice and round steering wheels pedal shifters hmm and the wireless charger big separation between the driver and co-driver ambient lights wow panoramic sunroof airbags all over the place I see already, of course, the standard front airbags and uh, not sure if there's a knee airbag but side bags here, side curtains already up to here is two, four, six. so we haven't looked at the back yet so far I see 6 airbags but don't take that number as the full number, yeah? and whoa, okay, this is a air cool it's air, part of the air conditioning system comes in here so you can keep your cold drinks and chocolate inside here and it's lighted very very luxuriously appointed now this is the first uh, what you call storage box I see that is not black yeah? it's the colour coded to the seats this is like a kind of like I don't know maybe light brown or or burgundy colour yeah and uh, so the front really looks good uh, yes I, we are told that the wireless charger is air cool because uh, the presenter said that uh, the phones get very hot uh, when they are being charged and so you get air cool okay so uh, in terms of safety these cars come with everything so this they call it the ADAS 2.5 and on top of the normal collision la, lane keep la, uh, rear cross traffic la, blind spot monitor and in addition to the forward car leaving a uh, forward car departure warning they also have an intelligent evasion system. When I asked them, what is this? To be sure, they said, oh, when you do your emergency braking, the sensors will also do what you call a lane change for you, if necessary, to avoid actual collision with the car in front. And whether it brakes to the left or right depends on how it reads the center line. If it's a broken line, it can brake to the right. If it's not a broken line, it can brake to the left. So all this is in the system and that is something new we have and also uh, another feature is the curve speed assistance that means when you go through a corner the vehicle senses that it's a curve it will actually slow the vehicle down I think that's only when you're on adaptive cruise control let's have a look at the interior yeah and I think from the front side this one really pampers the driver so look at the door the seat adjustments are 
on the door itself, you can see the picture of the, or rather the depiction of the seat. So this is very continental and you can easily adjust the seat. And this of course applies to both driver and front passenger. Let's take a quick look at the back. Okay, here is the back seat. So basically it is a five seater, but of course you have your center armrest here with a drink holder and of course as with all of these vehicles it's always best when you have four but yes the seat is wide enough to take five people so if you need to go for lunch yes you can have five lah. but uh, you have also your rear aircon and so far it's dark in here I can't see whether there are more than six airbags but so far we have counted six and uh, the rear seat can be reclined a little bit yeah Okay, so this seat is actually put a bit further back than uh, the normal But, ah, there's a Tauke switch here Hmm, so the Tauke at the back uh, Don't forget this is a passenger side there yeah? The Tauke at the back can actually put the seat to another position if he so wants And so we have speakers here, lots and lots of speakers So the sound system should be quite good and there's also a pull-up blind This one looks okay, plenty of leg room And of course the seat also has very good thigh support This seat is long yeah. So there are some, some car makers to make the seats shorter To make it look like there's a lot of room But this one is really really long And I can get full thigh support And of course there are also the isofix points here Reading lights are up here next to the oh my god handle and you can turn them on or off and for the back passenger it's actually a very nice place to be in you get very good view uh, you can see through the front of the vehicle through the panoramic roof and also the glass gives you good visibility and the waistline is high enough that you can have some form of privacy okay so now we'll take a look at the back of course the back is electric and yes this is a five seater with plenty of luggage they have your tonio cover and what's this Tapau ah. hook here <laughs> very very good feature of course there's a courtesy light and wow this one looks very familiar this is very high class look at it and yes guys Lovely, there is actually a spare tire. I think it's an alloy rim. So, guys, this is the J8, no prices yet, and we are actually waiting for the price to be announced at launch. And we have been told to wait for the pleasant surprise. So, let's now take a look at the J7. The J7 is a smaller version, it has a 1.6 litre turbocharged engine Again, drive is to all four wheels through an intelligent all-wheel drive system The total horsepower is 194 and the torque is 290 newton meters of torque So there is very very good power So we also expect the fuel economy to be quite decent because it's a 1.6 litre engine in terms of size, this is C segment. We don't have the dimensions yet, but it looks big, yes. So this would be about the size of the X70. Okay, the front also has a waterfall grille, but the shape is slightly different. Whereas the J8 is a bit rounder, this one is a bit more squarish, and it again follows the very straight front and wide and high. So it gives you a sense of elegance. The difference is, the daytime running lights are here and the headlamps are at the bottom okay so along the sides again you see the concealed door handles and the lines are very very similar so doesn't this evoke some emotion in you about some continental brand i like it actually lines are very very clean they want to keep it minimalistic so it's actually very elegant now Wheels are 19 inch and 
We also have a McPherson struts in the front. Wow, red painted calipers, a ventilated disc, and uh, at the back, we have also red painted calipers. So this is supposed to be sporty, yeah? And uh, solid disc and also a multi-link suspension. So we know that the formula is good for good handling and comfortable ride. Now these mirrors look a bit interesting. Uh, for SUV, they try to make it big. Lah. And this one is big, but the shape is a little bit unique. Maybe this is something we don't know yet until we see more of the car, but it makes the car look more futuristic. So at the back, the simple lines are continued. And you see here a little mini spoiler that helps to keep the sun off the backs of the people during the day. And let's check. Yes, it's electric. And you actually have quite a big boot. So this is a five-seater with boot space. I see already here a removable tonneau cover. And from the back, you can see the seat anchors for the children's seats, child seats. And you can also see that it's 60-40 split and it's reclinable. Again, you have... Oh, this is another cover here. I don't see the cover here, but there's a secondary cover here. And also, this is some kind of storage area. But the main tonneau cover is here. You have a courtesy light and the boot is split into two sections uh, to allow you to open. And there is a full-size spare inside. So this is actually very, very continental. It reminds us of another luxurious brand. And if I didn't look outside, you would think it's the same vehicle. Very well done. Wow, look at this, man. So futuristic, so macho. This is the door opening handle. This is the grab handle. And these are actual screws. And of course, they are, they are either stainless steel or chrome and it really looks very nice again you see ambient lights so this is luxury man but it's made to look tough so for the j7 uh, this particular rendition the seat is in black and again it is a five seater better if it's four the rear seat split 60 40 three headrests and this looks like either leather or synthetic leather we're not sure and of course your isofix points are here the same panoramic sunroof and they say that this roof is a bit wider than normal to give you more uh, view outside of the vehicle so for the rear passenger you do sit a little bit lower the waistline is high and you feel uh, that you are very secure inside here so you get good protection uh, in terms of airbags i see two four i already see six airbags at the front I don't see any airbags at the back, but I would say that six airbags is quite safe to say. Lah. There could be seven, but I'm not sure. And again, the reading light in the top here that allows you to read properly. And of course, the grab handles. So again, this is a five-seater uh, SUV in the C segment. And it is luxurious. Okay, getting into the car. It is different but just as nice so this is in the latest trend a big screen there and also a smaller screen here for instrumentation steering is simple three spoke and the controls are here normally now the uh, ADA system is also full uh, we're not sure whether all of the systems are there but I think they are yes that includes the intelligent uh, collision evasion and also the curve sensor gear stick is uh, very funky in design yes i actually like cars with gear sticks and the steering wheel is adjustable yes it's mechanical adjustable for height and reach and the seat adjustments are on the side of the seat there are like seven terrain modes here yeah so this is a fully capable off-road vehicle again the panoramic sunroof and yes this is soft touch, soft touch, and hard. And again, the ambient light. So this vehicle is built for luxury. Now, it will be interesting to know what is the price for this vehicle. 
well, it will be fully imported at least for the time being. But it will be interesting to see how much this vehicle sells and whether our Malaysians will opt for this level, which is very high level luxury on a Chinese vehicle. That is left to be seen, but it's going to be a very interesting situation. So guys, that's our very short presentation on the Jayco 7. Price is unknown yet, but we expect that it's going to be very, very competitive. As for me, the car looks great. I'm just waiting to see what it can do.